How you pick up your phone can be a deal breaker, whether you secure that job or you lose it completely. These are my tips in this video of the do's and don'ts on how to answer your phone. So let's get into the video. Tip number one is gonna be always answer your phone. This is an obvious one, but you don't know how many people I see in any type of business, they always screen their calls. Whenever their phone rings, they're always screening their calls and they just let it go to voicemail. Guys, a lot of people aren't gonna leave you a voicemail. It's gonna be very few people that actually will. A lot of them will let it ring three, four, five times and then they're just gonna hang up. They're not gonna call you back. Then they're gonna go call your competition. And so many times I've did this where I've ended up missing a call or when I first started, I would wait to go to voicemail. I would call the customer back and what ends up happening is they ended up calling your competition and they booked with them and then they no longer need you and then they say sorry they've already booked with someone else real quick if you guys are new here make sure to smash that subscribe button as it helps me grow the channel and share this type of information with all you guys starting and trying to scale your drunk removal business all right let's get back into the video so that brings me to my next point always call the customer back i don't care what it is if you went to the grocery store if you're getting gas if you're getting lunch whatever it is you go, you come back to your phone, you see a missed call, you call back right away and you always follow up. I don't know how many jobs that I've booked this way. When I've missed a call, I've seen I missed it by five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I call them back and all you gotta do, all I say is, hey, it's Luke from Skip the Dump. I seen I missed a call from this number. I just wanted to follow up. My next tip is people love talking about themselves. They love hearing about themselves. Tip that I got from a book that I read a while ago, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Always make sure that get when they introduce you on the phone, make sure you refer back using their name. It's gonna build rapport and just listen. A lot of times, and a lot of my customers, what they've told me in the past, they've called my competition and they've been so dismissive. They basically just told them the price, hung up the phone, be a little empathetic and hear the customer. If they say someone's passed away and they need to clean their house, clean the relative's house out hey i'm sorry to hear that i know a lot of times i know it means nothing to you you don't know the person but just hear them out be polite it's going to build a connection with them more and they're going to be more inclined to do business with you people do business with people that they like it's a sales thing over my time in business i've had so many of my customers come and tell me they've decided to do business with me or that they chose me for business because i was polite and i was nice to them on the phone and I listen and I know it sounds like so simple and also it's going to help you get Google reviews. Google reviews are so huge in this business and it's going to help you with your ranking. So it's just a win-win all around and it's good for your company. Needs. Okay, on to the next point is always act busy. I don't care if you're taking the day off with your girlfriend or going to the mall, going shopping, or you're going to be just sitting on your couch eating Cheetos. Always act busy. If you know that they want to book in tomorrow and it doesn't work in your schedule, just tell them. I'm sorry, my day's already booked. Don't tell them I'm taking the day off or no, I only got one job, so it's not worth it. Always act busy and book them into a day that fits your schedule. By always acting busy and always acting with a full schedule, it's going to make the customer more inclined to book in advance with you because they're going to see that you're in demand and they're going to want to lock in an appointment or an estimate. And like I said, if you just tell them that you have every day available for the next two weeks, they're not going to care. There's not going to be no incentive for them to really take action because they know you have every day available. So just tell them, make it seem like you're busy whether you are or not. You always want to give them that impression that you have a full schedule and they need to book an appointment with you. That's going to bring me to my next tip is always answer the phone professionally. Don't just pick it up as if it's like your mom or your friend or a buddy, whatever it is. Always pick it up professionally. So for me, how I answer the phone, I always say, skip the dump, Luke speaking. You always want to sound professional. You want to make it seem like you're a legitimate business. You just want to make it sound professional. It's just going to come off good to the customer when they hear that. And plus, you're introducing yourself so that then when they call back, if they call back to lock in an estimate at a later time, they know who to ask for. You always want to sound professional. It really separates you from the guys that are just doing it as a hobby. And you could tell then you're doing it as a professional business. You're treating it professionally because it is your business. You want to make money off it and you want to grow. You want to act professional. It's your business. Answer the phone professionally. Go over the don'ts real quick. You don't want to answer the phone like you're just a regular guy. You don't want to give them a concrete price over the phone. You also don't want to be a dick on, on the phone or be an asshole. They don't like that. It's not going to help you close jobs doing any of those things. So again, this is going to be another short video. If you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button as it helps me grow the channel. Also for any of you guys looking to do anything with Google ads, I put a link in the description of my video of me doing a free video training of a basic setup of how I set up my Google ads and how you can get started right away. The quick start, how to set up Google ads. So if that sounds good, 
Click the link, go check it out. We will be talking soon. Happy junking.